some sections of the community uh, or the public uh, are claiming that uh, the church should be regulated um, in its uh, administration of its affairs. Uh, but as a church, um, we want to call upon um, particularly those of those particular view or that opinion that um, much as um, their concerns, you know, are captured by us uh, as clergy, uh, we are very, very concerned about it because uh, churches have got ways of regulating themselves. They have got meetings from time to time which um, administer um, discipline, especially for errant members. They have also uh, ecumenical forums, actually like NCCK, like Evangelical Fellowship of Churches of Kenya, uh, among the others, which from time to time also help churches also to develop uh, better ways of running the affairs of the church. Uh, the Constitution says Kenya is a country that is um, uh, not singly uh, owned by a particular religion or church. Therefore, we do not want the government also to play the part of acting like a quasi-religious organization also telling the church what to do. But what we want to do is this. Churches should run their affairs on their own, but with the discipline that is obviously necessary for such an organization. For one, if there are any elements within the church, church leadership, whether they are bishops, whether they are apostles, and they do not behave well, according to their calling and according to the structures of the churches they represent. They should be reprimanded or if there are any criminal elements that they have been involved in, whether um, traffic offenses, whether also even killings if necessary, even misappropriation of funds. If that has happened, the government has got all the mechanisms to bring those people to book. Before the collapse of communism, the governments tried to regulate churches. And the governments really messed everybody up. They tried to regulate that no church should be you know, over and above the others. So we fear that if we allow room for the government to be enacting one law after the other, who will be checking the government? In fact, the freedom we are enjoying today, you know, we, we recently we are representing um, you know, a meeting where uh, some of the activities of uh, the late Bishop Alexander Kipsang Muge, uh, the late um, uh, Bishop, uh, Archbishop Kitari, they were part and parcel of the governance sort of regime we are enjoying today. So if they were not there and the government was regulating them, would they have spoken?